Well, the strike is over and things are happening over at DC Studios, and it looks like they have found a writer for their upcoming Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. Let's talk about the writer and how familiar she might possibly be with this character. Now, before we dive in, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring that bell for all the updates. We want to be your place for Marvel and DC news. We do daily videos and we're going to go out of our way to bring the news to you truthfully and transparently because that's what keeps you really in the know. Well, we were all speculating after the strikes wrapped up, the news would be coming at us fast and furious, and it turns out that was pretty true. Now, there's a lot going on behind the scenes at DC Studios, and we know James Gunn is hard at work on Superman Legacy. But we got a new report earlier today from The Hollywood Reporter, and it looks like we have a screenwriter for Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. Now, according to the team at THR, Anna Nagora will pen the screenplay for the upcoming DC Studios feature. Now, she's probably best known as an actress and a playwright, but there's some interesting facts about her when it comes to Supergirl. Now, the project itself is in its early days, and there's no director or lead star currently attached, and THR said the deal has only just closed, so it's likely it's going to be a little more time before we hear any news, because James Gunn's always made it clear he needs a script before he finds a director and an actor. Now, here's an interesting tidbit about her when it comes to Supergirl because she was actually slated to write another DC Comics movie, Supergirl. That's right, she had been tapped to pen a Supergirl movie for Warner Brothers when the studio was developing one for Sasha Kelly spinning out of The Flash. Now we all know how The Flash ultimately turned out, but what this tells me is whatever work she did on that project then, it must have been pretty impressive. All of that work was done before everything was scrapped by James Gunn and Peter Safran, and she would have been doing that work under the direction of Walter Hamada. So whatever she turned in must have been really, really great, caught James Gunn's attention, and he absolutely wanted more. Now, we've been told the new Supergirl movie is going to be based on Tom King's Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow comic series, which ran from 2001 to 2002, which is a great series and has fans pretty excited. Now, it's unclear at this point if Sasha Kelly will return as Kara Zor-El, but it's not really a huge secret that James Gunn really did like The Flash, and he seemed to really dig Supergirl, even mentioning how much of a different character she was than Superman. He actually said, Superman is a guy sent to Earth, raised by loving parents, or Supergirl in this story, she is raised on a chunk of Krypton. She watched everybody around her perish in some terrible way, so she's much more of a jaded character. Now, THR said that Gunn and Saffron, and I quote, liked the work Nagura had done on the previous Supergirl project and quietly brought her back, even giving her an overall DC writing deal, which once again suggests to me that whatever she did for them, they must have loved. Now, her previous writing credits included The Vampire Diaries, The Michael J. Fox Show, and The Blacklist. So these aren't big projects, and none of them are movies. So whatever she shared with James Gunn, they must have absolutely loved. Now, Gunn did eventually confirm this with a post to social media, so we know this is official news. It's going to be a good bit of time, like I said, before the script is done, and that's when we should start getting some casting and direction details, but this does mean things are full steam ahead behind the scenes at DC Studios, and it's something we all should be pretty excited for. 